Picture this, a customer checks out on your site, types in their payment details and clicks pay. But just as the request is sent, their Wi-Fi drops. They refresh the page and try again, and meanwhile, your backend is still trying the first request. A few seconds later, surprise, they're charged twice. Duplicate charges lead to refund requests, angry customers, and a whole lot of oops moments. But here's the kicker. It's not just bad for PR, it's bad for your system's reliability too. As developers, we know that things break. It's inevitable. Network timeouts, server crashes, random 502 errors, and users randomly closing the tabs in the middle of a transaction. But when those failures happen at the payment stage, it's like a punch to the gut for both you and your customers. So how do we make sure that doesn't happen? The answer is idempotency keys and message queues. In a world of software, idempotency means that if you do something twice, it doesn't do double the work. It just gets the same result as the first time. So let's talk about Stripe idempotency keys. Think of an idempotency key like a do not repeat this ticket for your payment request. And here's the magic. Generate a unique idempotency key for each payment. For example, a UUID. Attach that key to your payment request and Stripe will make sure that no matter how many times that same request is sent, it will only process the payment once. Then you've got message queues. These are like a safety net. Idempotency takes care of duplicate charges, but what happens when things go down, literally? Network errors, server crashes, or Stripe being a little too moody? That's where messaging queues come in to save the day. Instead of sending payment requests straight to Stripe, you toss them in a queue first. Think of it like waiting room, where patients request chill out until the back end is ready to process them. Here's how it goes. A customer hits pay, and their request gets placed into a queue, like an Amazon SQS queue, a RabbitMQ queue, or Kafka. A worker, maybe an AWS Lambda function, picks up and processes it using Stripe. Now, if something goes wrong, like a network hiccup or Stripe's temporarily down, the request just waits in the queue to be retried. And thanks to that idempotency key, the retry won't lead to double charges. So if things get really sticky and the retry fails repeatedly, the request can then be sent to something called a dead letter queue for inspection and recovery later on. So even if your system hiccups, no payment gets left behind. There's some common pitfalls, and here's how to avoid them. Let's make sure you don't trip over any of these traps. So don't reuse idempotency keys. Each key should be uniquely identifiable for a single action. Creating a parameter for order, like one, two, three, don't use it for a whole session or across users. That can mess things up a lot. Generate the key at the right time. Don't generate it on page load or when the user first arrives. Wait until they're actually ready to check out and then generate the key. Always include the idempotency key on retries. This one's easy to forget. If your retries are handled elsewhere, like by your background worker, without that original key, Stripe will think it's a brand new request, and you'll end up with a duplicate charge. Don't rely on idempotency alone. If your backend or Stripe goes down, God forbid, there's no retry. That's where the queue comes in. You need both for a truly resilient payment system. Building a resilient payment system isn't just about avoiding duplicate charges. It's about creating a payment flow that gracefully handles failures, whether it's a flaky Wi-Fi connection or a random server crash. If you combine idempotency keys and message queues to ensure that your payment system is both safe and reliable, no matter what happens behind the scenes, it's like building a safety net for your payments. Even when things fail, you don't lose money or trust, and that's good for both your customers and for your bottom line. So what's the key takeaway? Get these two tools in place and you can rest easy knowing that your payments are safe and sound. For more developer insights and tips, don't forget to subscribe or go to stripe.dev to read more about item potency and messaging queues.